Hi everyone, Susie here with another processing video. Um, today I'm scrapbooking this um, cute picture of my granddaughter Capri. And I found this really pretty um, teal green watercolor paper that matches her dress perfectly. And I'm just gonna do a, a vertical piece on the top and bottom of the photo. And then I have some, um, they're really old. I wonder if I still have the package with the date. Really old Heidi Swap. Um, they're called Bling Frames and these are ovals and they are old. They're from 2006, the back of the package says, but I still think they're just gorgeous and I love them. And I have a lot of them. So, um, the paper I'm using here are all of these frames on a 12 by 12 piece of paper and I decided to fussy cut oh I think I fussy cut nearly the whole page and make a frame with the frames around the photo of my granddaughter and that paper is by uh, Maggie Holmes for crepe paper so I'm just kind of lightly adhering um, the first layer of frames so that I can move the, um, get it situated and centered on the um, white cardstock there. I'm sorry about that shadow of the light. There's a light directly over my desk and I usually do my filming at night so I, I don't know how to avoid that. And I just keep kind of um, trying, I mean, I don't want it perfectly uniform around the picture. So I'm just kind of poking in um, frames and I'll cut some in half and put one on either side. There is the bling frame that I added there. Now I'm going to start adhering some of the um, smaller frames underneath the um, bigger frames. And I keep doing this till it looks somewhat symmetrical, not perfect, but you know, so it still looks centered. It's also a really nice shadow of my head over the page. Sorry about that, guys. And that little um, sticker up at the up on the um, right hand side, it's just uh, the date of the photo. Um, and I just wanted to add it there because I never remember dates and this photo happened to have the date on it. So I just stuck it there until I wrote the date down. And then I thought this marbly kind of watercolored paper would be a great background because it has a lot of the greens and I wanted to incorporate some, some of that peachy pink tone that is in it as well. So I'm just trimming down this white cardstock to um, adhere to that. And then in a minute you'll see that I kind of just melded into the paper, so I went ahead and added a really thin, probably an eighth of an inch um, border of black cardstock underneath the white piece. And then I adhere that to the um, watercolor looking paper. There you saw me just use my um, tape runner. That's my scotch adhesive. The big gun advanced glider. I 
then I'm just trimming the black cardstock so that it fits on top of the um, watercolored paper. This is kind of a different layout for me, but I actually love how it turned out. And here I'm looking at a package of embellishments um, by Maggie Holmes, and I think it is also Chasing Dreams, and it is by Crate Paper. So I used the teal um, little Swiss dot bow at the top, and a little black diagonal striped sticker at the bottom. And for my title, I'm going to be using these thickers. They are called Twilight. They're foam stickers. And my title will be Picture Perfect. I thought that that was kind of a play on words or play on the frames that I have on the page. And I just added a little real light um, guiding line with my using my T-square ruler so that I can get my title straight. And then I'm placing the second half of my title perfect at the bottom of the page. So it really is a linear um, vertical page all in all. And here I'm using some, what are they? Um, ep they're ephemera pieces from, um, trying to think, I think they are, I think they're also Maggie Holmes, I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. No, they're Pink Paisley, I'm sorry. And I ended up fussy cutting them and making a little cluster in the bottom left and upper right hand corner. And that little epoxy deer is from that same embellishment sheet, that Maggie Holmes embellishment sheet from Chasing Dreams. And here I'm using some little um, silver thread clusters. I thought that the, the clear bling um, almost looks silver to me and so I thought that the thread would add to that. And then here are some still shots of the finished product. And I also did add some Nouveau crystal drops also as well. And these are my still shots. And that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.